What's up, y'all? Just on Saturday, back with another reaction, y'all, from the Pat, the Fat Man's podcast reacts. Uh, right now, uh, before we get into this reaction, though, uh, hit that like button and dislike button. I'd right, rather you hit the like button, but either way, we gotta get up an algorithm somehow, some way. After that, hit that subscribe button and hit that post notification button. Even if you don't even like the video, just hit the subscribe button. You have to hit the notification button. Just hit the subscribe button. But alright, y'all, let's get in this reaction, y'all. It's Love Dorothy, the, fe the female chemistry and scapulation. Type, I do want like longevity. So I'm not like, if I start talking to a girl and I like it a lot, I'm going to focus on her. And like and a lot of girls, they can't understand. Like, I don't, like you ain't got to tell me to drop my hoes because if I really fuck with you, that them bitches gone anyway. But see, grown women know that. That's up to saying right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grown women, you don't got to explain to her that, hey, you're going to see me drop my phone up once I take you serious. Like, no, we know you're going to do that. That's why I'm saying yeah. you picking the wrong ones if you haven't explained that. If you having a, mm. as, as your girlfriend, make me see the value in you being an honest man, you went one that ain't ready. And you can't group all uh, uh, traditional or you can't group all <laughs> African-American females in the same category that always just us. And you need to like, you won't, you ain't lived overseas. Like you ain't, like you say, you got a yeah. you took a couple trips. But God damn, you going to throw us all <laughs> over a couple bitches you interact with? I mean, I guess you're talking about the passport boy and the, I don't know, the Midtown boys or something like that. I never heard, I never heard of Midtown, but I think he's associated with the passport boys and the Midtown boys are the same thing. So, I mean, I guess she got a point, but it's like, you see it like every day now. So I don't think she's talking, like, she's not a man, so she wouldn't understand but I mean, I guess he, I guess he got, she got a point there though. Just because you mess with a few, a couple females that are like bad, it means they ain't, them ones is the one though. So I mean, I rather have a female that's here than go somewhere else. But you know, they know the culture and stuff like that. I'm sorry, y'all. I really just did a whole bunch of videos, y'all. And I ain't had the I ain't had the audio on there for y'all to hear the video, so I'm kind of pissed about that, y'all. So my energy ain't really off, my energy a little off right now, y'all. But right, y'all, let's get back in reaction. Uh, like I don't like I don't know like I didn't want to say I don't lose my mind or I'm like sprung over it like but like it is a different vibe though it really is like it seems like they really appreciate like a working man instead of like a dude that's out there getting that fast money in the streets and shit. Right, you're referring to a culture difference, not a yeah. skin color difference. So just True. be yeah, careful yeah. online when you say stuff like that. You, mm -hmm. it, it is safe to say in, in, you know, maybe if you go to this particular region, the culture over there and the way they operate is more attractive to you than what's going on. But don't, I just, I, I want to go live with you because I don't want you to put yourself out there looking like self-hate if that's not what you meant. Oh, no, I love my sister. Man, Saying stuff like that about black, it looks like with well, them, you know, <laughs> so you one of them guys that you just want the foreigns, like the ones that uh, I use, yeah, like and they mistake that for exotics, like nah, like black. I love my black women, like, like you beautiful, like your skin Thank color you. and everything, you, you a beautiful woman. But like we be butting heads because like it's a certain way I have to handle you, you know. Right. But we can converse and shit right now, like, right. like you know what I'm saying. So like it ain't ain't no thing, but like. When it gets down to the nitty gritty, like the like the inner workings of the relationship, it, it is it is a certain vibe about me that I feel like a woman could like, especially like I don't want, I ain't gonna generalize no more. Look, there's a certain way I carry myself that a lot of sisters is like, okay, he a pushover, but that's right, not the but, case at right, all. But, but see, now you're talking mm. about you in the category. That's why I do the work I do in the videos that I do because I had to learn that. I had to learn that in the presence of a man that I'm gonna call my man. I don't know mm. how hard a soft people telling me he is or I think he is there has to be a certain yeah. respect level in certain lines that don't get crossed and it's not my she got a point there you're supposed to have it's supposed to be boundaries so like just don't cross them and we all good it's like I don't want to argue with you about something I already have already de de decided on and we have already talked about you still want to renege and study talking about it. like no, I'm not. I'm not gonna argue with you about what I had already set set to do. 
So, and done. You know what I mean? Well, right, yeah, let's get back to the reaction. Exactly. I, I had to learn that. So the same thing you're talking about, yeah. I am ministering that to my black sisters. But I ain't gonna let nobody just group us and say that none of them got it. You know what I mean? Cause that ain't true. Yeah, yeah. A lot like a lot of women. Look, you can say set boundaries, but a lot of sisters don't understand that. They see boundaries as okay, he trying to like he trying to play me or something like like they get offended almost. It's like, oh, you try he can't tell me what I can and can't do. Anybody like tell me like anybody try me like no weak ass bitch, you know, like but it ain't even like that. It's like I'm a man and I'm on right. my ground right. and I'm a stand on it. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. And I'm trying to, I try to teach. And I can understand where you're coming from too, though. I really can't. I understand where you're coming from. It's like, I ain't trying to play you, but this is how I, this is how I live my life and this is my boundaries. And I don't, I don't play that because there's, there's a certain way I have to move in life. You know what I mean? Oh, no, yeah. I stretch y'all. Yeah, there's a certain way I have to move. So it's like, either you're going to get on my program or you're not. And I'm going to have to go. Or I can go to another country and find a female that is able to understand where I'm coming from and not think I'm playing her or anything like that. So he got a point. He definitely got a point. In the presence, you could be like that with every other nigga, but in the presence of the mm -hmm. man that's supposed to be your man, your energy is not supposed to be like that towards him. So women are still learning, but it's he's right. He's she's right. I mean, she's right. You shouldn't you shouldn't have that kind of um, hostile energy to another man. I mean, to me, instead of these other men out here, you're supposed to be loving and dovey and all that stuff. To me, all that other hostile stuff can go to other people in the world. I'm not the one. I'm not. I'm. I'm the, I've been sticking with you. I've been carrying you with, you, carrying you on my back all this time, and you want to act so hostile to me like I'm another man out here. You know I me mean? that don't respect you or don't love you or anything like that. So she, she's right. I'm telling Fair. you, there's a lot of us that already got it. So don't put us all in the category because your ass picked the black and mild smoking female from the club. <laughs> don't do us like. Hey, look, black and mild smoking, damn smoking AIDS, damn neck tats. Like, one of them was thrown this in This is hand. why you cannot obtain peace. Peace comes with balance. Example, Example. a lot of y'all dudes. You been in relationship after relationship, or you done fucked on female after female, or you done dealt with woman after woman that put you in a space where she was trying to tell you what to do or manipulate your moves based on what she wanted. Didn't have no genuine care. For right. She trying to tell you what to do in your life and when she's supposed to follow you and you supposed to lead her in like, that's what, I, that's what a lot of men say. Like, you get on your purpose. Don't let them get off of your off your purpose. And none of that. Don't let no female get off your purpose. Follow what you need to do in your life. And lead you. And you supposed to lead her. So she can have an understanding of how you lead. And how your life go. And, and the boundaries that you set. Instead of she trying to lead you and do what the hell she wants to do are you okay with that and stuff like that and you at the house soaking and all that sad and crying and shit no that's not how it go that's not how it go you gotta lead her so you can have an understanding of the world and the world you live in and stuff like that but hey let's get back to the reaction for you so you operated like a bitch because you in scenarios in relationships where the woman is trying to tell you how you should move as a man a lot of y'all be in situations where a bitch be done use religion 
this country, the way that they feel like family should be set up to pressure you into a monogamous situation that in the end, you don't actually want to be in. And then, you know, of course, they live to be a victim. So anytime you try to speak up on your behalf as a man, they pressure your ass and make it seem like, you know, you're doing something wrong to them. You got to at some point, point as a man be accountable for the unbalanced shit in your life. A female or she absolutely right. If you pick the wrong one, or she, if your piece ain't there, that means you got the wrong one, and she ain't making it easier on you. Well, not easier. I shouldn't say easier, cause let's we'll say, yeah, it's making. She's not making your peace. She study arguing with you. Study trying to, trying to attack you. Trying to hit you. Trying to do all that. Trying to destroy your character. She's not the one. She always want to argue with you. She's not agreeable. Then y'all, you picked the wrong one. That means that you, this ain't, she ain't it. And that means you time, you got to move on. Orchestrating and being the puppet master behind a man's moves is unnatural. You are not going to find not going to find peace because it is unnatural. Y'all got to put yourself in a space where I am able to be what I am supposed to be. We be in these situations and we be trying to be what another motherfucker want us to be. Men are designed, built, bred to lead, to process their own. Right, we're supposed to process our own thoughts, exactly. And you're supposed to follow us so we can give you an understanding of how my life or how the world works and how uh, the more logical you can learn you can learn because most women are based off of emotion which that is true y'all can disagree with me but if we go by all this people all this stuff in the world there's mostly women that have emotional attacks the emotional all that want to be so victimized it's like anton says anton daniels the uh victim olympics and stuff like that you know what i mean which men are supposed to be following because they're more logical. They can separate the uh, emotion out, out, out the business and stuff like that. All right, y'all, let's go back to reaction. Thoughts from their own perspective. That shit is being undone day after day, TV show after TV show, post after post, conditioning people in the office. Exactly. Nobody wants an alpha, alpha male female. And I don't even know what that is. There's no such thing to me. I don't think there is. And all these TV shows undermine the, the masculinity or the ma the men. It's like a tech on men, tech on masculinity. It's like it's wrong for men to lead. It's wrong for tell women you're wrong. It's wrong to... To disagree with women is wrong to say what she want to say. Like, just like Andrew Tate got banned for saying what he wanted to say, what he believed in, and they banned him and saying that's hate speech. That's not hate speech at all. When you got these people like uh, Cynthia G and stuff like that saying, like, the black men are worse, black men ain't shit, black men all that, but that's not hate speech. You got to be out your goddamn mind. She, Cynthia, she's worse than Kevin Samuels. And it's like, that's crazy. You can, slant, you can slander men, but you but you can't slander women. Or you can't talk about women. Or you can't disagree with women. It's wrong, it's, that's wrong. And that's so crazy to me. I really I don't understand that. But all right, y'all, let's get back to reaction. Y'all do the same thing. Y'all be in situation after situation, relationship after relationship with different niggas, different men, different. Just like the Thor movie, like Thor is a he's supposed to be stoic. He's supposed to be manly. He and like just like when he got saw when he the girl left him and stuff. No, he's a guy. What does he care about a female? Like that's so crazy to me. And it's like. They making they making our even our heroes saw the only that and that's why the only people the only superhero I really mess with is Batman because Batman a cold dude he 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 direct with it he don't care he says he want he got money he can do what the hell he want to do one of the coldest superheroes in the world bro all right y'all let's get back to the reaction.
dudes that put you in a space where you being everything except for what you're supposed to be, which is a woman, which is submissive, which is soft, which is a homemaker, which is a support system, which is a helpmate. But these fuck niggas don't be people that y'all respect and you stay around too long and it starts to change your ways as a woman. This is when you get unbalanced and with unbalanced, you cannot have peace. Shit gonna go in one direction or the other based on how balanced things are. Y'all be around here and really be going against the grain on what you are. You should not have to have your guard up in your own household with the person that's fucking on you and you mixing your life with. You should not have to have those feelings of I got to protect myself. You picking the wrong people and you're staying around them too long for the wrong reasons to the point where you ain't even being what you're supposed to be. Definition of what they really want to do with it. And she's absolutely right there. If you can't be yourself or you have to protect yourself, you got the wrong one. The one where she talk about she talk about you in front of her, uh, talk about you with her friends and stuff, telling all her business. She mess with other dudes, telling you about uh, about you and the business that you got handling and stuff like right that. And women are supposed to be help me, supposed to help you. And there ain't nothing wrong with them working. I would never say there's nothing wrong with them working. But she supposed to help me. You ain't supposed to fight me on everything. Be agreeable. Let me lead you. Let me, even if I do mistakes, if I already proved that, that you're taking care of and the kids and all that, there's no reason for you to be, to be so disagreeable. You know what I mean? Agree. You know, be agreeable. And there's something wrong with you coming to be like, hey, you know what? Hey, hey, babe, you know, um, I don't think this is the right thing, and then we can talk about it, you know what I mean? We can talk about it, and then at the end of the day, it's my decision. If if I go with your way, that's cool. If I go with my way, it's my, you know, if we can go how it go, you know what I mean? And how it ends, how it ends, you know? But, all right, y'all, let's get back to the reaction, because she's speaking real facts right now. Life, because you don't fit. You don't fit. And if they was real with you about what they want to do, it would come out that y'all is a cat. And whatever they get Sorry, you, right now, they won't be able to get it. I'll give you an example. A lot of y'all females, you date niggas that's in the streets or these rap niggas. Or you want to date one. You want one with some money and all the jewelry and the clout and all of that shit. Great. But you got goals to have a husband like fucking Russell Simmons or a nine to five dude that come home every night at a certain time, eats dinner, you guys vibe, you travel, he yeah, he makes six figures plus, y'all doing all, and these niggas got goals for they like to be the motherfucking man. Like to legit be the plug or to run up a bag in the streets in this rap shit for Right, girls, like why do you want to do that on the streets? trying to get this little bag selling drugs to their own, your own community and stuff. You think that's cool? No, nah, man. Why don't you go ahead and get the little 9 to 5 dude, the average dude where they able to take care of you and stuff like that. Which, I don't want to be average. I'm the person that, you know, want to be, you know, want to be uh, a high value man, which I think every man has value coming out the gate. And I guess I kind of disagree with what Kevin Sand would say, this high value. I don't think, I mean, there, there is high value. There's, there, okay, what's I say? There's a stepping stone, you know what I mean? And because every man comes out of high value because they, they have a potential of leading. So it's like, yeah, like, you want to go here with this dude off the street selling these drugs on the street, which you know he's either going to get either in jail or dead in the grave. For as long as they can. Most of the money you get out the streets, that shit happen at hours that a bitch wants you to come home. So her wanting this type of lifestyle and this type of retirement for herself and the shit you want for you don't match. Y'all want one of these rap niggas. It requires them to be at shows and traveling and all over the place. Unless you plan on taking your kids on the road and being at shows and all over the place too or allowing this nigga to just do this and you not be there, how does it match up with what you want? But y'all don't want to talk about this. He don't want to talk to you about it either because you ain't going to be, you ain't going to even want to really be his lady after he tell your ass what his real goals is and how he's really trying to move. Y'all don't want to talk about this though. You don't want to talk about this. She's right, y'all. She's right. If a nigga really told you 
I plan on taking all the extra money I get and buying beats and paying for studio time and getting with my homeboys, buying designer, getting chains to elevate my rap career and make myself look like something until I finally land a deal and hopefully my music be big enough for me to make back some of this money I get out. This is a nigga real rap goals, real goals right now on what they plan. This is they plan for themselves. They told their dogs this in the last studio session. They told their homeboys, I'm finna take all my money and put it on this rap shit. You at home and you talking about credit and you talking about establishing the savings and taking the kids here. That nigga don't plan on doing none of that shit, bitch. Not none of it. Yep. And if y'all actually sat down and talked about real life stuff and y'all was genuine people, you would realize what y'all trying to do is a cap. Mm -hmm. Your boyfriend just last night sat in the travel on the block and told the nigga he finna take all this money and the stimulus money you got and get some pounds coming from Cali, bitch. Right. So it's like you picking the wrong one, girls. Like if you you want a dude that's in the hood doing all this and you want do you want to change him? You can't change a man because he's setting his ways. He gonna do what he wanna do in his head and. He's not gonna do what you want, and and that's their problem with women. They always want to try to lease, always trying to uh, always trying to tell a man what to do. And most men are gonna go what they want, do what the hell they want to do. And there's some men that do do listen to women, do what the hell they do with the women says. But that's beta, and after what after a while, they'll get tired at. She ain't gonna, you know what? I'm done with this. She ain't gonna tell me what to do no more. You know what I mean? And man, do we get tired of that? He finna put everything on this next load. He not saving with you, hoe. He don't care nothing about the kids going out of town for the summer or no school clothes. This nigga trying to grind up a bag. He finna cop these pills. He finna get these pounds. Nigga finna cook up some work. Shit's going down, bitch. Ain't nobody trying to go on no island with you, ho. This is this man goals. He can't tell you this, though, because you're going to act crazy and try to make him feel like what he want for himself is wrong. But what you really should be telling yourself is we capping by sitting here acting like we really together. True. If if y'all don't match, man, if y'all don't match, go on somewhere is hey girl if he don't match what you was trying to do then go on somewhere y'all ain't no match it's time for y'all to go she's speaking so f so much facts y'all i can't believe it bro some of y'all niggas the same girl that girl don't plan on taking none of her money and investing with you she finna take all her next checks, all the extra money, go on AliExpress and start ordering her some hair. She want to have a hair business in a hair salon, nigga. She don't give a fuck about none of that shit you talking about, okay? None of it. She finna be around this bitch like motherfucking uh, Missy's Hair Boutique. The bitch finna take everything she got and put it on the next load of hair. She don't care about none of that shit you talking about. You ain't talked to the bitch long enough about real life shit to understand that's what she wants. She don't want to keep punching the clock. She want to get something going on where she don't have to go yep. to work like your ass. Like, and I feel... All right, y'all. Uh, I'm going to do part two on the next reaction, y'all. Oh, my God, this lady speaking facts, y'all. But, all right, y'all, I'm going to end the video right here, y'all. But before I end the uh, video, hit the like button dis and dislike button. I'd rather hit the like button, but it's up to you. You have your own free will. After that, hit the subscribe button. Hit that post notification. If you don't even like the video, hit the subscribe button. You don't have to, have to watch my videos ever again. This year, I'm trying to get 50 subscribers by the end of uh, uh, September. And I will see you guys on the next one. Osiris is out.